everyone likes calamar, we go to restaurants, it's on almost every menu, and we're always gonna end up ordering it, even though we kind of know what it's gonna taste like. This, I can guarantee you probably have never tried before. So this is a great little method to use, combining different techniques that I've learned. Uh, we're just gonna do a simple dredge, and we're gonna fry it, and we're gonna serve it with this delicious tomato chow. If you wanna see the recipe for that, check the link up here, or in the comments down below, uh, and let me know what you guys think of our take on the fried calamari. If you don't want to clean the calamari from scratch, you can buy calamari rings, which is great. Uh, I have no preference for either. If you can buy the bigger ones, the smaller ones, whatever you like. I just bought the small ones today. About a pound, you'll feed about two or three people. So let's try this out. Let me know what you guys think. We have about a pound of calamari here. They look like little squids, guys, little purple skin and uh, nice and fresh looking right kind of scary you see their eyes here we're just gonna pull the tentacles off from the head right and then you're gonna see whatever comes out comes out we're gonna cut off the eyes that's little black things and then whatever was inside of that head part we're gonna discard of and reserve the tentacles repeat this on all of them until it's done inside the head you're gonna find this little plastic like piece this is called the quill you know, you might have seen it in like where they use like the the writing the pens in the olden days, right? Just to remove that, it should be a long plastic piece that goes all the way up through the tube. And then we're going to take the purple skin off of the calamari. Just remove this with your hands. It's pretty simple. There's little wings that you can just pull off and then the purple should just come right off. I'm just going to put it into a bowl here, give it a nice little rinse. Once I give it a rinse, I'm just going to drain the excess water and then cut the tubes into little rounds like so. Keeping it even will be important, just to make sure they all cook consistently. Once we do this all, we're just going to cut it into a, a little bowl and cover it in buttermilk. We're going to season that buttermilk with our tamarind soup spice. Just a little bit, season it up, nice and tasty. Give it a little mix, set it aside for about 30 minutes. I do recommend if you were first time doing this, work over ice so that your squid remains cold. Into a bowl, we're going to mix some all-purpose flour and some corn meal and then drain out the excess buttermilk and then dredge our squid, the tentacles and all, very nicely inside of this bowl. Once we have done that accordingly, take off the excess flour and then deep fry it in your oil and then drain after about two minutes and put it into a plate and garnish with a little bit of scallion and serve it with our roasted tomato gel. So this is super delicious recipe. I love calamari with the tomato sauce classically, but I do I am happy with this as well because it has a tomato-y, but it's more spicy, more flavor, more unctuous, more oomph, packs a little more punch, which I like and love a lot more. So try the recipe out. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, it was tweaking it a little bit. I like that tamarind spice, so I did a little sprinkle of that with the, instead of salt. And enjoy. And that was our calamari recipe. Super simple, straightforward. Once you learn how to break down calamari, you can really break down anything. So let me know what you guys think about this recipe. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you check out the video here. Make sure you check out the link here, and I gotta go get my dog. But stay tuned for next time. Remember, stay happy, stay hungry, feed your soul, and feed your mind. Peace.